you can only bring your dog to two parks in Monterey, but depending on how people answer this survey, that could change. Some say Monterey could be more canine friendly. I would love another dog park. It's good for socializing for adults as well as for dogs. A city survey out this month asked people all about their four legged friends with questions like whether they need to be on leash. My dogs, you know, they, they need to be off leash. But others say a leash should be required in a public park. Especially where kids are around. Then there's the issue of picking up after your pup. I mean, if you are being responsible and cleaning up after your after your dogs, I really don't think it's a problem. Still, the city wants to know if doggy bags should be provided and if what pups really need is a space all their own. Monterey only has one dog park. It's this small fenced in area at El Estero Park, but people say it has some problems. It seemed a little dangerous um, for humans as well as dogs. We started having homeless people bringing their dogs. They sit in their cars. The dogs would be in there. Other complaints about the dog park is it's too small and too dusty. I mean, the dryness, you, you, go, you come here and you're just completely dirty afterwards, so that's kind of frustrating. Most parks in Monterey are already full with play equipment and sports courts, but the city is open to converting an existing space into a dog park. So that's kind of why the survey is out there, to find out where people, um, what people really want and in what neighborhoods, actually. In addition to El Estero, there are only three other spots in Monterey that you're allowed to bring your dog. There's the beach east of Wharf, too. There's Veterans Park and the Rec Trail. And all of those spots, you need to have them on a leash. All right, Caitlin, Dan? thank you very much. Appreciate it. More than 500 people have taken the survey. There's a link to it if you live in Monterey on our website at ksbw.com.